I'm not competitive, but she is. It's very weird. <laughs> You can go first. I'm gonna I'm gonna go for an easy one because I don't want to knock it down right away. Share your best celebrity impression. Hmm. Do um Joanne this camera? Well, it's a face that I can do. I do it all the time. It's kind of become like a part of my like mannerisms. It's Joanne this camera. Fun fact: She was Joanne for Halloween two years ago. About to make a heist. <laughs> She likes it. I am her biggest fan. Thank you. <laughs> oh, there she goes. That's a good one. Name as many Beyonce songs as you can in 15 seconds. Do you want to start the clock? Um, formation. Um, uh, um, sorry. Um, um, crazy in love. Crazy in love. Um, why are you looking at me? That's <laughs> <laughs> your question. I love Beyonce, but I don't know what her songs are called. What? What? Daddy lessons. That was 15 seconds. Oh, daddy lessons. <laughs> that was sorry, B. We went to her concert, Boo. I know. Huh. Which previous ro role of yours meant the most to you and why? Probably my role of Ansiedad in my first movie ever, Girl in Progress. It really actually was the first time I like I don't know, in a way, it was like acting for me. I don't know, it was just like the whole process of, of filming a movie and really getting into the character. And I learned so much on that set and from, you know, my peers, from Ava Mendez and, and the amazing director Patricia Riggin that I still, I use a lot of the lessons that I learned on that set today. Um, it's really special and dear to my heart and I loved it. Fun, 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 fun movie. I have anxiety. I do too. All right. Oh my God. Okay, what's a uh, 90s slash early 2000s show you wish I was know still on the air? Um, the OC. Okay. She loves that show. Yeah, I used to have like posters of Adam Brody on my books. That was on her my first wall, crush. On we need more Adam my... Brody in our lives. Yeah. <laughs> no, it, it actually wasn't even Adam Brody, it was about Seth Cohen, the character. Got it. And Brian doesn't really do it for me. It's a Seth thing. Okay. Yeah. I like that. Mm -hmm. Honest answer. Yep. Oh. Slowly but surely. What's your most memorable fan encounter? Hmm. I would have to say <laughs> it was at Disneyland. Why? Um, I was at a restaurant and the whole kitchen staff came out and took a picture with me. Oh, that's cute. I felt really special. It was really You nice. are special. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. But it was really cute. It was just like... I was like, oh, everyone's coming from the back. It was, it was very fun. Who was cooking the food? They just, you know, who knows? Unprofessional. <laughs> <laughs> My palms are sweaty. Knees weak. Arms are heavy. It's falling on a sweater, sweater already. already. What was your first dating experience like? Um, well, my first proper boyfriend was when I was like 16. And I loved him very much and he broke my heart. Oh no. That's fine. 16. It's fine. I'm over it. <sighs> Tell us about a time you were starstruck. Well, that's every single day of my life. I'm the biggest fangirl. But I do have a funny fan moment, fangirl moment. It was when I met Cardi B. Well, I didn't actually meet her, but I saw her in a restaurant. And I know how rude that is to like, just like go up to someone while they're eating. So I sent her a cheesecake and she didn't eat it because she was on a diet, but she did say she loved me back. <laughs> Love me I've listened Cardi to B. that story so Hey, many and times. it gets better every time. Does it? Yes. Oh. Well, there you have it, folks. That's it, folks. Thank you.